Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to show you how to pump down an air conditioner and basically pump the Freon back into itself uh, for purposes of either replacing a coil or there's a few different reasons why you'd want to do this. Uh, this is for an R22 unit. Uh, 410A units, they don't recommend it. Manufacturers don't as much because of the way the pressures are in those systems, but uh, your mileage may vary. I think it can still work somewhat, um, but make sure you regard your manufacturer's instructions. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do here is we've got a set of gauges that we're going to go ahead and turn on. And uh, this is a digital manifold. Now the only thing we need this for today is just to monitor the pressure in the low side line, which is right down here. So looks like I still have to take a, a cap off of here really quick. So go ahead and get a hold of this. This is the access port here. And on goes the fitting here. Try to hold this off to the sides like this so that you don't get Freon all over your skin. If you hold it like this, you're less likely to get Freon all over yourself. There we go. And now we can see the the pressure we have in the system, 85 pounds approximately. So um, as you can see, I've already removed these access uh, valve, um, or these shutoff valve uh, caps here. And then we just need a couple of Allen wrenches to be able to close those. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna prevent Freon from flowing out of the unit. Uh, and the way we do that is we close the liquid line well, it looks like I should have maybe done that first before I put my port on there, but I think it'll be okay. Anyway, I might have to take that off here. One second. There we go. So we've got our ratchet on here. We'll close this liquid line so the Freon cannot flow out of the air conditioner to go into the house. It's kind of it very loose in there so I can almost turn it with just my fingers. Now I'll take this and snug it up a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> and now for the big side, the big line, we will close this part of the way, but not all of the way. It's kind of hard to get it on there there. Now we're going to close this almost all the way. Actually, we'll close it all the way until it stops, and then we'll open it like three or four turns. It's all the way closed now. We're just going to open it up. That's probably about two full turns. And uh, now we're ready to uh, go ahead and start pumping it back down after we hook our, our hose back up here so we can see the pressure. All right. So 85 pounds. Now the next step, uh, you're going to push in the contactor. So you can see down in here, there's the contactor. Now um, we're going to use this screwdriver to push this in. Be really careful not to slip off. This is an insulated screwdriver, but we're going to push that in and hold it and then the pressure will start to drop on our uh, gauges. So we'll do that. zero pounds, so I'm going to cut this valve here. And there you have it. So now, 
all the refrigerant is pumped back into this these coils basically here on the outside of the, the air conditioner as it cools the freon it, it increases the capacity for holding and storing liquid in here so all of the the freon in this system is now pumped into uh this outside unit so we're even at slightly in, slightly in a vacuum but it's right where we want it to be so that's how you pump the freon back into the air conditioner now Make sure you uh, disconnect the power so that it doesn't accidentally get turned on because right now it is not ready to operate. So if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Give me a half a second and hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And again, yeah, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.